various Asus ROG4 members have found a bizarre way of enabling support for AMD Ryzen Zen 3 desktop CPUs on older motherboard series like the Asus X370 series motherboards. They do this by cross-flashing the BIOS from an ASRock B450 motherboard. It's quite odd to see people going through this amount of work to extend support for a certain line of processors that your motherboard may not officially support. But here's where things get more interesting. Not only are the older 300 series motherboards being cross flashed with new 400 series BIOS from Asus, but the Asus 300 series motherboards could be cross flashed with ASRock 400 series BIOS and work perfectly. This is incredibly interesting, but it does make some sense as ASRock is a child company of Asus, but it means a majority of their technology could overlap. Further information from Overclock.net forum reveals that ASRock 400 series BIOS works best with Asus 300 series motherboards. Flashing the BIOS from a Gigabyte or Biostar 400 series line renders the PC completely unusable and unable to boot. Flashing the ASRock BIOS then allows you to boot through SATA drives and Ryzen 5000 series Zen chips work without any issue, although you do lack NVMe support and a resizable bar. ASRock also silently released AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPU support for its 3000 series lineup, but you can see that even their older X370 BIOS BIOS can be used to enable support on Asus's 300 series boards while retaining NVMe support. Well, this is good news for users who have been waiting to find a way to run the brand new AMD Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs on their still highly capable Asus ROG 300 series motherboards. The Asus ROG Crosshair 6 Hero was the first ROG AM4 motherboard and still holds potential, so there's just no excuse to keep it limited to Zen 2 desktop CPUs. Users can be seen running various Zen 3 CPUs on the motherboard with this cross-flashing method, and with the CPU lineup available at a discount, there's no stopping users from getting a brand new chip for their old yet trusty 300 series board. This may allow builders to both upgrade and still utilize older hardware like their 300 series motherboards, which are still incredibly powerful. What do you think? Is utilizing the older motherboards for newer CPUs a smart idea or a short-sighted one? Let us know in the comments down below or go check out these awesome videos.